next we are going to see the select command select is a major major function we will see it differently uh, uh, through different uh, what it can do uh, right now um, we want to use select to fetch a, a table from another database while working in this one Google so let me remove that so what happens is so either I have to <coughs> use command and get the um, like go into that database and then I can run any command in there but if if I have to run one query in one database the other on the second one and the third on the third database and I will be just keep switching all of them it could be confusing so there is a better way around this to make sure that you put the full path in your command that's how it gets uh, run into that particular database so for example select uh, star from sys.databases okay so this one is good one good example so this is the select command but what I'm doing is I'm getting all the databases in there so if I run this I get everything master empty. the first uh, four are the default one then all the others are kind of what mine are so for example we can see we can see we are right now in here working in Google and I have to get the NYC where is NYC right there so I want to find out run a specific table in uh, from the NYC so what I can do is select star from and then this is the table name so if I go here create get NYC and you can see NYC city so I'm gonna get the details from uh, NYC city table while I am actually in Google database so I'm working in I'm in Google database but I'm gonna get data from NYC database so first you have to give the full path meaning first you write NYC that's your table uh, database name then you write the table name this is the schema name so it should be dbo.nycd so dot dbo.nycd and that's it so if I run it here while I'm in Google database I will get the NYC database table information and right there if you remember from my video we did this we did not add any data but we created that so this is how you do it <coughs> run a select command from one database and fetching data from another there are many many uses of select command we will be going through with them and you will see them a lot but this is a quick overview of how to uh, run one query while you are in totally different database. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.